Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. This is my Volkswagen Transporter T4 van and recently the sliding door has been acting up. The door has become really stiff and I'm guessing that's because of this roller down here. It seems to have dropped a little bit and you know, it looks like crap in there. So I ordered a new one on eBay, it came today. Seven quid. I did this job before about five years ago. I don't think I made a video about it. But when I was doing it before, the uh, screws here that hold it on, they had little hex heads and they were completely knackered. So you can just about see I got a hacksaw and slid across them. So I won't have to do that again today. So what I'll do is I'll beat a big screwdriver into them and try and open them and then just do a switcheroo. What I'll do as well is I think I'll put a car jack or something under here to lift the door a little bit first. So then we're on the jack, get the screwdriver in here, give it a bit of a tap a tap. That's it, that's enough. It was far harder to get off the first time I did it, but you could see anyways that was a little bit loose. Try the other one first as well before I take that one out completely. You can't see in the video I'm hitting it with this lump hammer. And there it is, that's off as well. Not too bad this time. I am just going to use the same screws because that's the way that's the way I am. That's what they look like. They're an M8 thread. You could just use M8 bolts with a washer if you wanted. But given that these work, I might as well keep them. This fan I've had for 10 or 12 years now, I think, and uh, it's done me really well. Oh, that's stiff to get out at the end, but that's it there. It's done me really well. It lasts really well. It's always ready to go. It's just well, there's the doors falling off at the top because I didn't have it properly held on. So let's get this thing out. Let's have a look at it. Oh yeah. Oh, that's your that's your problem there. Look, that pulley's just just dead. The bearings on that, it looks like it's been swimming in something. You can see a difference there. There's no question that uh, that was the problem. The bearing doesn't even go around, so it was just wearing off the nylon and it had gotten down to the metal. That's the ball bearing inside there. It's just while we're here, take a look up at the top. This one, and this pulley here, not pulley, keep calling them pulleys. This wheel here is um, nylon, but it's fine. It's doing its job in that track up along there. It just rides in that track and I've never had to replace it. So it's possibly original, but you just buy the whole thing, the whole arm. And it has a bit of adjustment here. So you can adjust it in or out a little bit if the door isn't, I guess, closing properly or adjusting properly, but I've never had to do that either. So let's get this cleaned up first. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to clean up the track. Let's have a look down here. Yeah, that trench is full of stuff. So. Stones, concrete. So you can see what I did there. That's about as good as it's gonna get from me, I think. There's going to, always gonna be stuff in there and that's just the way it is. As you can see in here, you have to, that has to hook in underneath and I don't think it does unless you take off this piece at the end here. So it lets you hook this in at the end. So that's, we'll get those screws off next. That's easy enough on this side. Easy enough as well, even though it's all rusty looking. Tap on the head of the screw, it tends to get these things off, and this should fall out. This is what's underneath, it's the latching mechanism that holds the door open, so that the, the wheels clunk into this location here somehow. It looks okay, it looks like dirty, it's latching properly, so that's fine. So then having that out means I can get this in, I think, right to the back. Yeah. That's the main thing. There's more bits stuck in behind. So there we are. It's much cleaner than it was. It's still all gritty, but you know, much cleaner. There we go. So I'll get this new one attached. Down at the end, hook that in. And then lift the door back, back up and hook it in at the top. Bring it over to there where we're meant to be doing this. There's an easy way and a hard way, and if you had a buddy, it'd be 
we're getting closer to the easy way. That's that. Now I think I want it in a bit more. Slacken it off a slight bit. Do it like this and then test it and see how the door closes. That's a thousand times smoother. Something on in there. Yeah, little bits of stuff. Okay, try again. Catch it on there. Maybe it's on the track, is it? Ah, that track full of grease. Gross. I don't think that track really should have any grease in it if it's got nylon wheels. But, but there's a bump in the track there I can feel, which is probably from someone slamming the door on something or something like that. So I can feel just here with my finger, there's a little ridge in the tracks. So that's when it's going kadugadung. People sometimes comment that I take too long in videos to do something, and I think, well, you know what? If you don't see me doing this bit, you won't know that it's part of the job. So whatever. Leave a comment down below to tell me that, and what I'll do is I'll just delete it as soon as I see it. <laughs> I love the negative ones. It was a guy, Canadian Matthias Wandel, whose videos I watch, he's saying, how does he deal with negative comments? He goes, I don't even read them, I just delete them. You can tell straight away if they're negative. Oh, it's still dirty. Let's do it again. This was one of my cleaner rags before I began this job. Right. Okay, let's try it again. Oh, yeah, so it's still humping on there. Probably always will. I'm not quite happy with that. It's in fairly parallel. It could come in a bit more, could it? Although I think I think I'm happy enough with that. It seems pretty straight for a van that's 18 years old. So yeah, it's catching on that there. There's some kind of a wobble in the in the track. So it's just got a dint in it. How would you even know what that came from? I don't know. But that's what causes it to make that kadunk kadunk sound going along. Right, so the last bit of the job then is to offer this up again. Just wiggle it until it goes in. Slide it back into position and then just screw it in. And once I've done this and tightened it up, I will tighten up the other screws properly. That just means I'll grunt a bit when I'm screwing them in. How long has this job taken me? About 20 minutes. Oh, tight. Yeah, it'll take a bit more tightening. Just a bit. This one here, try it again. No, it's that one. That's it latching on at the back there. That's that bump. Oh yeah. Sweet as. Wouldn't do that before. Excellent. Excellent. Thanks for watching. See you later.